So measuring the gradient. We've got a tape measure running along the side of the river. Now I'm at the research point here, which is five meters. I've gone five meters upstream with the measuring tape and five meters downstream. Okay, so 10 meters overall. Now I'm just going to show you from this point how to use the gun chronometer and then I'll head down to 10 meters and get it. So you've got your ranging pole and you have your gun chronometer. You'll be using your ranging pole at the bottom and at the top and you'll be measuring from the same point on the ranging pole to the opposing one. Okay, You don't want to be aiming to the top of the other one or to the bottom because you'll be affecting the results. Okay, So from 150 centimeters down I'm going to be using the gun chronometer I'm going to pull the trigger so that the wheel can move according to the gradient. I'm going to get low to it so that I'm measuring accurately. And once I have found and settled on the same point of the ranging pole upstream, okay, you're going to then release the trigger so that it locks in your wheel. Okay? With the ranging pole, you need to just put it onto the riverbed. Okay, it has a sharp end to it. Just put it onto the riverbed. Don't dig it into the riverbed because everyone digging in will be a bit different. Okay, so just place it onto the riverbed. All right. So going downstream, you access the water safely, and you want to be in the middle of the stream, and then your partner upstream wants to be in the middle of the stream as well. Okay. So I'm roughly in the middle. And then looking upstream, I'm going to place my ranging pole just on the riverbed and pull the trigger, release the trigger, and I have a reading of 6 degrees. Okay. Now remember we're looking distance downstream and changes downstream, so that's positive 6 degrees, but we're obviously looking downstream, so you'll need to change that to negative 6 degrees. Okay? Or you can record from the top.